This is part 1 of a new series of videos and it's about race tracks F1 should race on. I will tell you why they should race on these tracks and show you a lap in the 2022 F1 cars. I will include tracks F1 already raced on in the past and tracks F1 never raced on in its current layout. So let's head into part 1. Hello and welcome back to the sim racing channel where nothing is impossible. It's Florian for sim racing with handicap 502 and we are at the Autodromo Internazionale del Mugello. At first I'm going to show you some data about the track and the map. Then we head onto the track for a lap and after that I will tell you why F1 should race on this track. So that was my lap, it was a 118.3, which is less than 3 seconds slower than the pole time at the only time F1 raced here in 2020. As you could see it is a very fast and challenging track, which is one of the reasons why it would be a very good addition to F1. Mugello is a very physically challenging track for the drivers, with all the fast corners and no parts where the drivers can rest, except for the start finish straight. Especially the section beginning with corner 6 until corner 10 is extremely challenging challenging both physically as well as to get the right line as it's possible to go flat out all the way through but you have to get the turn in spot on. Additionally there are many other chicane like corner combinations where the second corner is compromised if you mess up the first one. That combined with the fact that there are no asphalt runoff areas makes this track a real challenge for the drivers. Therefore they can make a bigger difference on this track than on other tracks. We have seen in 2020 that overtaking is possible, although there is only one DRS zone and with the current gen cars it should be even easier. Therefore I would love to see this track back in the calendar. I'm curious what you think about Mugello, so please tell me in the comments if you agree with me that F1 should race here or not. And now we'll show you my lap from the driver's view and from the TV cam.